Hey guys, so I spent all of yesterday in a hospital, and if you want to see why, then keep watching. If you do enjoy, please consider subscribing since it's completely free, and you're a jerk, you're a jerk if you don't. Also, if you want to see all of the chaos live, then come down to the Twitch and turn on my notification bell so you see when I go live. That's twitch.tv slash Tommy in it. Link in the description. Enjoy, boys. I was in hospital. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. No, no, guys, guys. Yesterday, I spent uh, the majority of the day uh, in hospital. And the, the majority of that time, I spent thinking, huh, my ball is going to die. Now, I didn't know that was a thing that could even happen. And neither did you, probably. But look, let's rewind. Let's rewind. Let, let's work out exactly what yesterday was. Uh, and I promise you, you're going to want to stay for this. Because this was... Kooky crazy. Oh, I don't know, guys. It was a little, little, little thing for YouTube, you know, right? Twitch, you're just going to stay. You know what I mean? You're not going to go off Twitch. Uh, and you're going to want to stay for this. Because if you like ball talk, this is the video for you. I don't know. Whatever. Look, guys. All right. So let me rewind you. All of the incident took place on Tuesday. Let me rewind you to Monday. All right. It's 11.30. I've just had the past two days relaxing. I've thought, you know what? I'm going to relax. I've been uploading so much. I've been streaming for three hours. I'm going to relax. So I've seen loads of films. I've hung out with Molly. It's been a great weekend, right? I had a great weekend. And I think I'm going to get an early night. And then at 11.15, before my 11.30 bedtime, I get the infamous, the one we all pray we don't get, the Turbo text. I get that text from Turbo going, Tom, um... Can I come round? Can I? And he says it with such earnest. He says, hey, guys, is anyone around to hang? I've just finished streaming. If you don't hang with me, I'll be lonely and I'll die. I'll literally die. And I go, oh, oh fine, Tubbo, fine. So Tubbo comes round. And we watch Married at First Sight. It's a reality TV show where people get married and they don't know the person. And me and Tubbo judge people. It's great. But look, this is a crucial part of the story. As it means I didn't get in my full eight hours. My brain is wiring from hanging out with Turbo. And I end up getting roughly six hours and 30 minutes of sleep. Now, I don't function very well on little amounts of sleep. This is important. So I go to bed, guys. I go to bed. Me and Turbo also watch some grand designs. Lovely, right? Lovely. It was a worthwhile night. And I think, you know what? The next day, I'm going to wake up late. It's going to be one hell of a Tuesday. I'm going to get up. I'm going to work on so many videos. I'm going to maybe even film for my Tom channel. I'm going to do so much. It's going to be such a productive day. You're going to be so happy. You're going to make so many videos. Make so many people laugh. I'm Because like, I'm an influencer. And that's what I do. Because I'm just a wanker. Then... At 8.30 a.m. I feel the most pain I've ever felt in years. Now. I don't know what happened. Neither do the doctors. But I wake up alone. At 8.20 maybe. And I think, hmm. Something's not right. Oh. It's the vast amount of pain I am in. So. Let me describe it to you. And just a warning, just a warning. This stream is going to be more TMI than Tommy and it's been in a few years. But hey, you know, I'm 19 now. We had it coming. There was going to be a ball story soon. Uh, and for the first two minutes of my day, and I sleep naked. You know this if you've watched uh, the Schlatt Schla Schla when I sleep. Incredibly nude, right? Incredibly nude. Uh, and just any area that my ball touches feels like someone going... Bam! 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 When it just lightly touches the back. Oh, God! And I'm sat there going... Ah! Ooh! Don't ooh! This is my life we're talking about! So it was a terrible first few minutes of the morning. Genuinely, so much... I, I couldn't even talk. I was like... And I was like, oh, maybe it's fine. So I'm already not over the moon. So I think, hmm, maybe I'll just get on with my day. Maybe I'll just ignore whatever that was and just have an early morning. Then I Google, hmm, uh, what to do if you're experiencing extreme ball pain? Ball pain is incredibly serious. Ball pain is one of the worst things you can have. If you have ball pain, call an ambulance right now. Oh, 
that's not what I thought. So, a little shocked, I ring up 111. If you live in England and you're not a stupid American, you can just ring up, um... Sorry guys, you're showing off my new top. It was getting a little hot though. Anyway, um... So I ring up, and I go, hi guys, hi, it's me, Tommy in it from the Dream SMP. Uh, having a little ball pain right now. Uh, what should I do? And they go, wow, we're gonna book you in to see the hospital. Uh, just, no, just a nurse in the next, uh... 30 minutes and I go oh oh well I guess this is how I'm doing my morning then so I get up guys I get up I make myself some scrambled eggs and I uber to the hospital and I sit there for a while I sit about with uh, nothing going on and I'm already there really tired now full of eggs full of eggs What's the chat saying? Ball of pain. Are there any mods on TTS, by the way? Let me just check the mod. Yeah. By the way, if you do donate $1, you can have a little thing read out loud for you. Uh, but only if it's funny will it come through. But the mods uh, are here to accept that. Funny. So now I'm like... Ugh. Well, this isn't really what I wanted my morning to be. But anyway. Ball pain. Tommy makes ball pain 1000% funnier. Thanks, chat. No, really, thank you. Tommy's first period. Not even sure Time if I'm. To hear about your balls. You should drink Prime to get better. Shut up, Prime Minister. Prime Minister, shut up. Shut up. So yeah, I eat my eggs and I sit. And I'm thinking, you know what this is gonna be? You know what? They're just gonna call me in. They're gonna give me some drugs, which I love. I love. And then I'm gonna get out of here and I'm gonna enjoy my day on that grind. Finally, after about 30 minutes, I go and speak to the nurse. She goes, huh. We're going to send you over to a doctor and he's going to have a look at you. At this point, I'm thinking, fuck, really don't want anyone else to see my balls today. He's going to have a look at you. Uh, this isn't good. This is bad. This is not good. I'm like, oh, what could have happened here was a ball twist. Sorry, what? <laughs> Sorry, hang on. Can you come again? What? A, a ball twist. It is where your balls twist, and that's very bad. Wait, so the balls in a twist wasn't just a funny talk? No, no, the balls in a twist was the medical saying. So I go, oh, okay. I go to sit down for another five minutes, and then this lovely man doctor goes, "Come with me, Tommy," and I go, "Okay, okay." <laughs> and I go and I see the man doctor, uh, and he asks me some questions. He's like, what do you do for a job? What do you do? What do you do for a job? What do you, um, he asked me many questions. One of them, one of them. And this is actually, you're in a room. You just sat looking at the doctor and the doctor's there. It's really, really close, little room. And he goes, are you sexually active? And I just start laughing my head off. And he's like, what wrong? And I just, got, it's just such an odd question for someone to ask me. Just keep asking, like, uh, and I'm like, uh, uh, what? And I just start losing it, laughing. And it's just in this tiny room, this doctor, like, really concerned about my balls. The second person that day to be concerned about my balls, asking me. And I just sat there like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> that was, uh. Tommy makes ball pain 10,000% funnier. So I didn't even know that was an option. So I'm sat in the room now. <sighs> And the the ball doctor goes, okay, so look, I'm going to need to see your balls. I go, God damn it. God damn it. Damn it. I don't want to do this. The last time a doctor saw my balls, uh, I was like 10 or 11. And my dad and my mum made a bet with me. They said, Tom, we'll give you a fiver for every ball pun that you say. Uh, if You know, to make it a little easier for me, they thought. If you say, you're busting my balls, doc. If you say all of these, we'll give you a fiver. And I did, and I threw them out, and I earned, like, 15 quid. But here is the first debuff of the morning. The first hindrance to my joy. Um, it was 8 a.m. One, my mum and dad are in America right now on a trip, so I just ring them up and be like, Family, what do I do? What do I do? My dad have balls. Two, it is 9 a.m. All of my friends are fucking Twitch streamers. So they all wake up at least at 2 p.m. at the earliest. That is an early morning. So the only people that are about are Molly and Erin. And Molly, I'm texting at this point like, okay. And by the way, I'm starting to get a little hungry at this point. A little hungry, a little thirsty. I, did, I forgot my water bottle. 
and the board doctor goes, well, I need to have a little rummage. So I go, okay. He has a rummage, it's fine, it's very medical, you know, never done it with a guy before, but whatever. And then, he says, what I didn't want to hear. Now, <laughs> he goes, this could be a ball infection. Easy, right? Easy. Or, it could be testicular torsion. A ball twist, as it were, which I already knew. And I went, okay. And he went, if it has been a ball twist, and the ball has twisted and untwisted, then your ball may be dying as we speak. What the fuck? I didn't even know the balls could die. I didn't know that was on the cards. My, b I, what? Hang on. So I'm like, Okay? And he goes, and if the ball dies, then you'll have to have surgery to remove the ball. I've never had surgery! I don't want to have surgery today! So I'm like, okay, okay. Sure! Well, how do we solve this? And he goes, well, I may be a ball doctor, but we don't have any... We only get... <laughs> this is the word he uses. He goes, we only see about one ball patient a month. However, they have real professional ball inspectors up in Hayward's Heath. Now, usually, I would uh, say, make your way up there as soon as I can. But... And this is his words. As this is a time-sensitive matter, we are going to take you up there in an ambulance. At this point, I'm already like, what the fuck is going on? It's, it's 10 a.m. I'm, I've been sat in a waiting room for hours fucking scrolling through Instagram reels. And I'm like, are you sure I need an ambulance? Are you sure? Tom, this is a time-sensitive matter. We need to save your balls. Oh, just my right ball, for the record. And what they believe has happened is that my ball twisted and untwisted in my sleep. And now I'm already like, oh, man. This, uh, this, this could be bad. This could be very, very bad. So I go into this separate room of the Brighton Hospital uh, with all these people. Ju uh, this just felt terrible. All these people just in excruciating pain, guys. Just like genuine, this is awful, pre-ambulance. And then there's just me. Sat there with slightly achy, maybe dying balls, like, oh, I don't belong here. <laughs> and it's the most imposter syndrome I've ever gotten in my entire life. And it did not feel good. I didn't feel like I deserved the, the ambulance. I was like, oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. And the last thing, just a little important detail. What is this stream? I don't know, but hopefully it will never happen again. Uh, just a little important detail is, uh, oh. One sec, text from my mum. Hopefully it's not about this stream. Uh, it's not. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, Jesus. Uh, a little important detail, because I may be having emergency surgery today to fix my balls. I'm no longer allowed to eat or drink. And you guys know I do not function very well when I'm hungry. Yes! RIP! But what I didn't want was a ball rip, Red Bunny! So I'm like, oh no. Oh man. This is not how I wanted my Tuesday to start. So I go, okay. And then they get me in the ambulance. And they drive me for like 40 minutes. Also, at this point, still no one's awake. I'm texting Molly. What did I... Let me tell you what I sent... What words did I say exactly? Let me find it in our text. Um. What a ball of story. Ha ha. Okay. Yeah, nice. Um. So, yeah, they don't have any... She says, you okay? I say, I'm chilling with an inkling of ball pain. Uh, they say this could be testicular torsion, which is very serious. Uh, oh yeah, it was just not good, guys. It, this whole thing is just not good. Um, so yeah, this is such a weird story. Don't worry, it gets worse. So then, I get in the ambulance. In the ambulance, guys, I have a really lovely conversation with the, with the paramedic. He's a 29-year-old. Shout out to Adam from the Brighton NHS. 
absolutely lovely bloke. We have a long discussion about film and media and The Last of Us. We have a big disagreement about whether or not the Barbie movie was good. I think it was. I thought it was very funny. Uh, he still he just wasn't his humour. Anyway, we have a long 40-minute conversation. At this point, it's an hour getting to like 11 a.m. I'm like, what is going on? Then, getting progressively hungrier and hungrier and being like, oh, guys, wait. Might be going for surgery. I've never had surgery before. Freaking me out a little bit at this point. So I'm like, okay. Okay. We're in this we're in this uh ambulance for ages. Don't worry, there were loads of other ambulances, so it wasn't like Tommy in it and his balls were taking up the whole ambulance. Then I arrive at the next hospital. <laughs> This whole time I'm like, this is, I'm like, I feel like I'm over-exaggerating here. I've never had such insane imposter syndrome because just my balls hurt. But it turns out it could be very bad. Then, <sighs> I'm actually like, was this too weird of a story to tell on stream? But I'm here now and it's too, I'm too into this. Oh, they even anonymous with a five year subs. Yeah, can we get some pity subs in the chat? Can we get some pity subs? Uh, yeah. So now I'm like, this is the weirdest stream you've ever done. Well, look. Here we go. Then. <laughs> I arrive at the next hospital. I sit down. And I'm like, oh. Oh. I really haven't ate any food. For a long time now. And I am very hungry. And very thirsty. So I'm sat there like this. And they're like, don't worry. I say bye to Adam. Lovely 40 minute car journey. They're like, um. Yeah. Um. We'll be with you soon. Uh, and now I'm sat in another fucking second bit of the hospital, chilling again in Haywards Heath. Wherever that is, I don't know. If anyone here from Haywards Heath, congrats. I was there. Adam was missed. Um, and then... Sorry, my eyes are a little bit. You see Jack Manifold's eyes, like, exploded the other day. Anyway, sorry, I'm getting distracted. I always do in story times. I always do. I need my bed wars. Um... Then I sit around, and they go, don't worry, the ball inspector, the professional ball inspector will be here soon. I say, oh, gracious, Sorry, gracious. From one ball less man to almost another, ouch. I'm telling you it's the prime man danger. You reckon the prime did it? The prime killed my balls? No. No, because luckily, I still have my, well, you'll see. So then, finally, I wait here now for about an hour and a half, which is really good given the NHS. The wait time's going to be so long. And I sit here, and I'm like, oh my god, this sucks. And I sit for ages, guys. And ages. And I'm getting really hungry and thirsty, and I'm not allowed anything. And there's this old woman on the other thin side of a curtain uh, who's, like, having a big argument with the NHS doctors. And I'm just like, guys, guys, and my headphones have nearly died. And I'm like, oh, man, uh, you'll see. You'll... Sorry, no, no, you won't see. You won't see. You won't... Well, no, no. Then... Finally, the next ball doctor comes. The professional ball doctor! And he's like, well. And he goes, can you tell me what happened? I'm like, yes, I got up. And then I got up and then the balls hurt and that's it. And then he goes, okay. Well, let us have a C. And he has a little C. Of course he does. Just everyone's fiddling with Tubby and his balls today. And he has a little C. And then he's like, oh. Um, so, it's either an infection, or we don't know. Isn't being Kenuff right now. I know, I know, my balls are not Kenuff. And he goes, or either, now we're going to go up and we're going to give you an ultrasound. And I'm like, what even is that? I don't remember, it's the thing that like pregnant women have, you know, when it shows the baby, not me. Are they going to do that to me, but it's just going to show my balls. And they go, okay, what I'm going to do? Yes, we're gonna do. We're gonna go. We're gonna take you upstairs. They can have an ultrasound. It might be a while though. And I'm like, and I'm like, oh, well, am I allowed to eat and drink? He goes, no, because one, you have an ultrasound, and two, we don't know if you're having surgery yet. And then he goes, and there is a third option we might need to do. And I go, what? What? What is it? And he goes, now if it wasn't ball torsion, and if it wasn't an infection. We're going to have to open it up and just have a rummage around. Uh, uh, guys, this is the worst news I've ever had. It's a, it's a real man. Tommy in it. 
I put the play button back there, please. You know, I'm on some form of ego, but it's all been stripped away from me because they're going, oh, we'll just have to have a look and see. No promises. Oh, <laughs> guys. Now, I'll tell you now, my Tuesday was not going great at this point. And then, and then I wait another hour, another hour with no food or drink and my 8 a.m. eggs by 12 a wearing off goes to 1 p.m. And I'm just sat there like this. Oh. So, yeah, it's not feeling great. Then, finally, it's time for the ultrasound. Gender reveal party when? Guys, they're just balls. They're just so much balls. Sandwich Lord, thank you for the eight months. Stream title is something, I'm telling you. Uh, forever, thank you for the five gifted. Nathan, thank you for the two months. Anonymous, thank you. You could say you were bawling your eyes out from pain. No, I didn't cry, but I did feel shame. A lot of shame. There were just too many people worried about my balls. So I go upstairs. Uh, and I go in, and I'm in like the, the behind the scenes, the back rooms of the doctor's place now. And I go back, and then this woman is like, I go back through this other door and this other door and I'm going through this whole oh, Hayward's Heath Hospital and I go, okay, you're, uh, it's time for your ball ultrasound. And I go, okay, what does this entail? And they show me this very cold metal machine. And then they have to, you know, and they go, you know where this is going to go. And I go, oh no. So I go into the ballroom, you know, usually used for pregnant women's tummies, not me. No, now today it's, it's being used for my balls. The ball doctor will take your balls. I am not. I just am not. And I go into the, to the ball doctor's room. Oh, this time it's a woman and she doesn't, oh, you know. I'm too deep in now. I'm so hungry. I'm so thirsty. And my balls ache. And they go, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna have the ball check. This was my favorite bit of the event. They begin to scan my balls. And as this is happening, on a huge screen, a just huge image of my balls appears. And I just break down laughing. Because there is a is a just a just a magnificent image of my balls next to me and this has all been a lot and this is the third person to see my balls this day and i'm like oh great and then she does that and she goes oh don't worry there's another ball inspector coming to see you your case is so peculiar that we have to get the higher up ball inspector now this is my third ball inspector of the day now, boys, there's only so many ball inspectors you can go through before you start to feel like you're losing it. So I wait another five minutes, and the junior ball inspector and the grand ball inspector come in. And the woman who's just done my ultrasound is like, Now, I, th I think it actually might be his left ball is the problem. And I'm like, oh, fucking hell. I'm so hungry and thirsty. And there's a huge image of my balls on the screen that you're all standing around analyzing. And so I just start filming them uh, in the corner of the room. I'm stood here like this because I, it was just too funny to me. But there's, there's a whole room full of people. Now, I obviously can't show you the big image of my balls. Not because I don't want to, because it has all of my private details on it. And I also don't want some doctor uh, analyzing my balls because I've had enough of that. Then... <laughs> The fourth ball doctor goes, hey. And I go, hey. And he goes, you know what we got to do, right? And I go, I know. Now, I, the fourth ball inspector has this rummage. At this point, it's still unclear to me if I'm having surgery today, if it's emergency, if my balls are dying, if my ball currently is dying in, my, in me, and they don't know. They haven't ruled it out. And then, finally, he goes, well. Well. I don't think your ball is dying. And I go, oh, thank God. But you can't eat or drink. Fuck! 
what we think has happened here and he this guy has a real psychoanalysis of my balls he looks at the big image he looks at all the information given my 13th urine sample that's right guys i've been peeing in jars for this whole day he goes look here's what i think happened i think and this is the exact words he used words that I never wish to hear outside of a, an obscure bit with Jack Manifold. Words that I never wanted to hear out, out of a professional's mouth. I think you have an unluckily built spermal canal. Now, what is a spermal canal? It was something like that. Apparently, it's the bit where the cum and the body link. And apparently, <laughs> occasionally, you can get really bad RNG. And it can be built in such a way that you are prone to great twists. Twists and turns. So, I am prone to these twists. And he goes, look, you're not going to need surgery today. But, and I'm still waiting on the call, we're going to bring up your balls in the next meeting we have. Tomorrow, today, for local viewers. And when we have s discussed your case, the case of Tom Simons' balls, then we will know what to do. But likely, you're going to need surgery to mend your spermal canal. Oh, man. Really? Because I don't want to have surgery. And then he goes, don't worry, you're free to go. And I'm like, great, great. And he goes, just if you have any more ball, sir, ball pain, call the ambulance. I go, okay, great. Question for you, where am I? Now you may have remembered earlier, uh, I was drove far up in an ambulance, but this is no longer a time sensitive matter. So, they're not going to drive me back. So I leave the hospital and I'm like, oh, I am in the middle of nowhere. A Tuesday and my whole family is asleep. Tubbo isn't even awake yet. Jack Manifold's in Mansfield and I'm alone and I can't drive. And I think, oh, uh-huh. And I Google how far away is the train station and it's a 40 minute walk. And I go, fuck this shit. And I, and I, look, I get the indigenous human spirit, whatever it's called, and I trudge to the Haywards Heath train station. I got recognized by someone in the Haywards Heath park at 2 p.m. with achy balls. Hi to that guy, by the way. You know, sorry if I looked a little disheveled and unshowered. <laughs> it's because I was. Then I finally get back. And I'm like, oh, what? I'm like, why, why do I feel so weird? Why do I feel? Oh yeah, I haven't ate or drank for seven hours. Oh my god! And then I collapse into the pret in Brighton Station, get myself a muffin, and I get home. Finally, after a walk, after that long forty-minute walk. So look, probably gonna have to have surgery. Uh, if my balls do start aching again, that may just happen on a stream, and I just have to go. Uh, please, guys. You know, the famous Tommy in it ball twist where, you know, you go, got your balls and then you twist, you know, that we do. Don't do that anymore. Because uh, it will destroy me now. Uh, so that, look, that's what's happened. Uh, that's why I was in hospital. Uh, it sucked, sucked. Had a, a stupid day. But there was a point midway through the day where I was like, huh, I'm going to get a really good stream out of this. And I think we've done just that. Boys, 40 minute walks not for you well i'm sure you have both balls and a smile on your face my friend unluckily for you i didn't so anyway i'm not in any pain now but at any given moment my oh, balls may just twist boss, ball inspector. truly prime. truly jesus christ prime minister you a year eight taz stop saying drink prime you bellend so yeah anyway guys that's what happened yesterday that's why i put that on my story uh look there you go. Uh, I, sorry I said I was going to do that drunk stream and then I didn't last week, but there's going to be some more streams this week. Uh, yeah, this is, a, this is a short stream. And I mean it. I'm ending. 
but I, mainly because I have a recording and James Marriott's made us do it later. So I have a recording 7.30. Guys, thank you for watching. Can we get some subs? Thank you, uh, Murphy Math for the 22 months. Um, Caitlin's for the gifted sub. Sandwich Lord, thank you guys so much. Hope you enjoyed the stupid little fucking story. We're gonna raid Turbo. Oh, thank you for the Prime Animic Moth. Thank you, Isex, for the uh, seven months. Thank you, Izzy Brown Bear, for gifting a sub. Thank you guys so much. You enjoy the story, guys. Did you enjoy that story? Such a short stream. I would go for like three hours now, like I usually do, but and do some Tomodachi life, which is ready for next stream. I stopped playing Hello Kitty Island Adventure for this. Wow. Sounds like you must have a hard life. I uh, think you anonymous for the five gifted. Thank you guys so much. All right. See you later. I'll stream more this week. Turn on notifications for the Twitch if you enjoyed. You know? Thanks, guys. I'm going to start putting some highlights on uh, Tommy Out It too, so you can go see that. Thanks, VOD viewers. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> see you later, guys. <laughs> ah, goodbye.